Hi there everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. In this crochet tutorial I will be teaching you how to make this absolutely beautiful stitch. Now this has been done just with one continuous yarn ball and obviously it's a variegated yarn. So I do already have a tutorial for this stitch on my channel but it's the version where you change colours every single row which obviously results in lots of ends to weave in at the end of your project. However, I wanted to do a separate tutorial step by step to show you how you would make that pattern just with one continuous cake. So I've made some changes, some adjustments to the pattern so that you get this beautiful, seamless, two row repeat pattern, but made with just one ball of yarn. So you can see it's a beautiful two row repeat and you get these absolutely, let me just turn that, these poker straight very neat and very satisfying edges and we're just going to jump straight in with the tutorial. For anyone who wants the tutorial on how to change colours then I will leave a link in the description box to the other tutorial. But as always if you do like this pattern and you like the way that it's been taught then please do like the video and leave me a comment in just let me know what you think. So I'll be using this beautiful King Cole Bramble DK and a recommended four millimeter hook. If you want a little bit more drape then I will suggest using either a four and a half or a four or a five millimeter hook for this yarn but the choice is completely up to you. So we will of course be starting with our slip knot on the hook and you want to do this in a multiple of three so your foundation chain will be the width of your project and you need to do that in a multiple of three. So yarn over pull through. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if you just complete your multiple of three. Once you've completed your multiples of three, you need to add an additional two chains onto the end. We're then going to be working back. It's a nice, simple starting point. So you want to work into the fifth chain from the hook. So you've got one, two, three, four, and this one here is our fifth and we're going to be doing a row of treble crochets. So do you remember I'm using UK terms? So my trebles in US terms will be your doubles. So yarn over, insert into that fifth chain along, yarn over and pull up. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then again, into the very next stitch, you'll do another UK treble. So yarn over and pull up, you'll have three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And you're going to put one UK treble into every single chain all the way to the end when you reach your slip knot. So if you continue to do that, and I will meet you in just a second. So I've worked that all the way to the end and I'm ready now to move on to the next row. So this next row will be technically row one of your pattern repeat. This row that we've just done is just our setup row. So at this point we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work around. I'm hoping I can get rid of this very helpful helper who as always has come to assist in my filming. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we've chained one and you're going to insert your hook in between these first two trebles and complete a double crochet, so a UK double. So yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. You're then going to chain three. One, two and three. And you're going to skip across the next three stitches and insert your hook after that third treble. So skip three and insert your hook into the space after. So whenever we work these UK doubles, they're being worked in between the trebles. You're never going to be working in the top of stitches. It will always be in between. So chain three again, skip three, and insert your hook in the space after the third treble, and complete your UK double or US single. Chain three, and skip three, and insert your hook after the third treble. 
and complete your stitch. Chain three and you're going to work that all the way along until you get towards the end of your row which is where I will meet you because it's a little bit different. So I'm at the end of my row now, I've done my UK double and a chain three and you can see that we've got three normal trebles left and then the chain stitches that we skipped at the beginning of our foundation row. Now we're going to skip three as normal and we're going to be working our double crochet into that gap between the last treble and the chains. So you'll insert your hook into that space and do your final double. Once you've completed that final double, we're going to slip stitch into the top of those chains from the setup row. So insert your hook into the top of those chains and slip stitch. So yarn over and pull through both. We're then going to turn our work around. At this point, if you want to chain three, you can to do your UK treble height stitch. Whereas I'm going to do what I always do and I'm going to insert my hook straight into that very first stitch, which was the slip stitch that we've just completed. I'm going to go through the whole of the slip stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both, and then I'm going to go behind the left vertical post of that stitch, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. And then that is our first stitch for this row. We're then going to be working all of our stitches underneath the chain threes from the previous row. So we're never really working into the tops of stitches in this particular pattern. So you're going to put three UK trebles underneath this very first chain, chain three. So one, two, and three. And then you'll skip straight to your next chain and you'll do three trebles underneath it and you're just going to work three UK trebles underneath every single chain all the way along and once more I will meet you as you get towards the end of your row. So I've worked under the last set of chain stitches that I have and then we're going to skip the top of the last double crochet and we're going to be working our final treble into the very last stitch after that which was the little chain stitch that we did at the beginning of that row. So you'll work your last stitch into there. And this is how you should be looking at the moment. Obviously, if you pull them up, you'll see that you've got those nice gaps underneath. But normally, when it's just flat like this, it looks quite closed. So that is row two. So again, now we will be repeating a row one, but I will just show you it one more time because obviously all of our spaces are much more defined this time. So chain one and turn and then straight into this gap between our first two stitches, we will put a UK double into that space. Chain three, and obviously now our spaces are much more defined for where we're needing to work. So you will do your UK double into the space. Chain three, skip the group of trebles and double into the space. Chain three, skip the group and double and again you'll work that all the way along until you get towards the end which is where I will meet you and I will show you that one final time how to finish off your chain row. So you'll complete your double crochet, you'll do your final chain three and then again you've got your group of three trebles and then the starting treble so you'll skip the three and work your last double crochet after that third treble into the space and then you'll do a slip stitch into the top of that very last stitch. So through the top of that very last stitch and slip stitch. Okay, so then you're ready now to do a row two. So you'll either chain three and turn or you'll turn and then work straight into the top of that slip stitch that you've just made. So you'll insert your hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both, and then behind the left vertical post, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both. And then you're ready again to do your groups of three trebles underneath every chain. So one, two, 
right? And then under the next. So it's a really easy, hopefully, two row repeat. And I wanted to show you how easy it was and how beautiful it was to be done all in the same cake or variegated yarn without having to change colours every single row, which is what you have to do on the other tutorial. So I just wanted to show you what could be accomplished with many, many fewer ends to be weaving in at the end. So I will meet you one final time at the end of this row to firm up that last stitch placement. So again, once you've completed your final group of trebles, you will skip the top of the double crochet and you will work your final treble into the next stitch, which was the chain one. And there you have your build up of your two row repeat. So you will continue that for as many rows as you like. I would always suggest ending on one of the treble rows just because it's a much more solid finish. However, if you were to end on a chain row, then that gives a kind of start to a lacy little border, which would also be quite nice. But that is it. That is your two rows that you will need to repeat over and over again until your project is however big you want it to be. So I really do hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have, please do remember to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. But I will see you for another tutorial really soon. But thank you as always for watching and bye for now.